So I will show configuring multi master in GKLM. So I will log in to my server with the SKLM admin credentials. So here in the advanced configuration, we have to go to system certificate. And here we can create a certificate for the secure communication. So I will create one certificate. which will be a certificate for key serving. I will click on create certificate and the certificate is created. Now for configuring, configuring the multi master, you have to navigate to administrator tab, then click on the multi master. Here it says that in order to go to multi master, you have to click here and here you have to go and click on OK on the once you log in, you will see the current server details from which we have logged in. And here is an option called add master. So click on add master. Give the details of your server for which you will be adding at as, as a standby server. So I will be adding the details. And the password of the administrative user. Then I have to go to advanced properties. Then here, do you want to set this master server as standby? You have to click on yes. Then click on accept host certificate and click on check prerequisites. So once you click on prerequisites, the it will check for the prerequisite status of uh, the server between the primary and the standby which you are going to add. So I have deliberately added wrong credentials so that to show you how the error will come in case there are any failure in prerequisites. Now it says the login credentials of the server are invalid. So I will correct my mistake by adding the password and then I have to click on check prereq again. So it will take couple of seconds uh, to complete the pre-check. So in the pre-check, it will check the connectivity between the primary server and the standby server, which you are going to add. The user credentials are valid or not, and the GKLM servers are correct or not. So as you see, it, or it meets all the prerequisites, and then it says that it can be added to a cluster. So for that, you have to click on Add. So it will ask for a confirmation pop-up and confirmation. So click on OK. So this process will take some minutes to add the um, server in the cluster. So let's have a demo for managing multi master cluster. So I have one setup with me, which uh, I will show you where the multi master is already configured. The setup is having one primary master server and two standby servers. So once you log in to the GKLM server, so this is the primary master server. So once you log in, you will see that it says that it's a multi master cluster. And on the welcome page, the all the details of the servers are available and the statuses of all the services uh, will appear over here and the role of DB2 HDR will be present over here. So as this is the primary master server, it shows as it's a primary server. From administration tab, you can go to multi master to see all the details of the services and of the other master servers. On the list of this page, you can see that there are two standby servers added and the services and the status of it are available over here. So we have IPP, KMIP, TLS, and application UI, database, agent, and cluster configuration status. Once you click on modify, you can modify the details of the server. Like you can change the username, you can change the password of a user, you can change the port, and so on. And click on update. So here also check prerequisite. You can do whether the information you have entered are correct or not. As 
and you can modify the details if you want to delete any standby from the cluster then you have to select a particular server and click on delete master on clicking on delete master it will ask for a confirmation and then you can choose your confirmation like yes or no and on the basis of your input it will delete the master you can refresh the master status so if at all if you want to see the latest status of these services then you can click on refresh master server it will take some seconds and then it will show the message that successfully refreshed status of master and the name of the standby server there are option for stop cluster as well as restart cluster so from here only you can stop your multi master cluster and the and if you want to restart the cluster you can do that as well there is a tab called hdr database here from here you will see that there is one primary and there are two standbys so if at all you want to promote any standby as a primary then you have to select your standby server and then click on the promote as primary option so once you click on promote as primary that particular standby will be converted into your primary server here we we, we generate a cluster name for your cluster that will be a unique one for the your multi master cluster for read only state we have another cluster to show that how it will look when when at all if your primary database goes down so in this cluster i have made the database of a primary deliberately down to show you that how the cluster will go into read only mode on the welcome page itself the read only mode will get displayed so as you see i have logged into the cluster and here only i get to know that my current multi master cluster is on read only mode because the database of a primary server is down so this is my primary server for which the real status real life status of database is down because of that it shows as connected to a read only database on this state the user cannot perform any operations like create and create any keys or delete any keys but user can get or read the keys so as you see uh, if i go to a particular storage device the options for add modify and delete are disable so user cannot perform any action of it because the cluster is on read only mode 